Today I'm going to show y'all how to cook a one pound pack of red beans. Y'all don't have to eat it this way, but just cook it like this to get you good flavor, I'm telling you. So right now I'm going to ball, these are pigtails, a small pack of pigtails. I'm going to ball those for about an hour and a half until they start getting tender. And then I'm going to throw my pack of beans, my onions, and my bell peppers. And I'm going to show y'all in another clip how to chop those up and when to throw those in with the beans. Alright y'all, so that's one bell pepper, one onion, this is all you need, you don't need nothing special. I got a, uh, wait, let me show y'all what else is up in there. Uh, minced garlic, it don't matter what brand. Y'all can see that minced garlic. Uh, a lot of people gonna say, man, you supposed to soak them beans, cook them beans overnight, them beans gonna give you gas. Man, they lie. You ain't gotta soak shit. I'm gonna show you how to cook this shit in about. If you don't put the pigtails, you can cook red beans in about two hours. Hour and a half. But since I'm using the pigtails for more flavor, or you could use smoked pigtails or smoked neck bone. I just don't like smoke taste, but it is all right. I'd rather just have pigtail. I ain't doing that spectacular with these onions. I ain't no. This ain't for style. But if you got a kid that don't like to see how, see the onions in the food or the bell peppers in the food, you can put it in right now with the with the pigtail, so I have kids that don't like to see onions. So, I'm gonna put my onions in. So, get the onions more time to cook. They get <coughs> cooked down with my bell peppers in. I, know I ain't got it focused on the pot right now, but I wanted y'all to see how I cut that up. And my minced garlic. I'm gonna put that in when I put the beans in, because it's already messed up. So, um, and another thing is, when you're cooking, don't season your food until it's cooked down. Like if your gravy cooked down, you, until your beans nice and soft, that's when you go to season. And don't try to put your season in before all the water is cooked down, because now you don't know what's going on. You're just taking a guess. Just wait until it's almost done. Put a little salt in there. A little pepper, but not nothing major. Just wait until it's almost done, and then start seasoning. I just want to show you know a lot of people don't know how to cook red beans. A lot of people want to know how. You know you may know how. You might just be watching this video for fun, but this how I do it. So I got all that balling. I'm gonna let that soak, ball, do its thing, until those pigtails are almost tender. So about like an hour and a half. You know, so I'm gonna let it go for another hour and 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna add my beans, and we'll come back in with that clip. Uh, we still balling. Uh, only thing I got in there now is pigtail still and uh, onions and bell peppers. And you can see those bell peppers and onions starting to break apart. So by the time we get those beans cooked, they'll be disappear the kids won't see them but the taste will still be there let me tell y'all something I know I probably said it already but these pigtails are not just to be in there I'm telling you it gives the best flavor ever even if you don't eat them after you boil it or after you boil your pigtails you can take them out the pot and throw them away put your beans in there and cook your beans in that water or your neck bones or your oxtail Whatever you want to put in there, I done did them all. It all tastes good. Turkey neck. Smoked turkey neck, smoked pigtail, smoked whatever. But these right here, just regular pigtail, raw. And uh, they get the best flavor ever, I'm telling you. Just give it a try. I done chopped my sausage up. I want y'all to see. If you're in Louisiana, this is the best sausage for red beans, white beans, butter beans, 
black eyed peas, recharged salsa. That's what you need. Not Mr. T's, recharged salsa. So if you need some of that salsa and you need me to ship it to you, message me and I'll send this to you. And we're gonna put this sausage in when we put the red beans in. We don't wanna put those in too early. All righty. So I done rinsed my beans off. They've been balling, my pig tail been balling for about an hour and a half, a little extra. Um, they not gonna be falling off the bone yet, but they gonna be cooked. So by the time the beans cook, these gonna be tender. So right now they just cook. By the time these beans finish cooking, they gonna be tender. So we're gonna drop our clean beans in there, cause I know y'all gonna try to criticize the black guy. So y'all got some clean beans in there. And here is your recharged smoked sausage. Any sausage will work, but if you want the best flavor, use everything I'm about to tell you. So, we're gonna put that on high, then we get a ball. Then we get a ball, we're gonna drop that down to like six. So uh, on my stove, six is the next notch under high. They go from high to six to five, all the way down to low. So I'ma drop that down to six once it start balling good. And uh, you might have to keep adding water until your beans is soft. That's the only key now. You add in water until your beans get kind of soft. And I'ma show you a tip when they start getting soft. I'ma show y'all what I do. We got these beans cooking down. I'm gonna add some more water because these beans are too hard. Too hard, yeah. They ain't ready yet. But once they start getting the soft, we're gonna smash some of the beans to make your gravy. I'm gonna show y'all that. It's my little trick. They bust all the magly, but we're gonna help them. I'm gonna show y'all a little something. A little St. Joseph cooking. Alright, so we're starting to get close to my beans being soft enough. they breaking, so. So we're gonna load my fire down a little bit. We almost ready, not yet. They gotta cook down a lot. So we're gonna smash some of the beans, not all of them, against the wall. Break some of them up. There's a couple of them. Help with that gravy to get thick. All right. So it's still got a long way to cook down, but my beans start to get soft. So I broke some of them up to make my gravy. The main things you need: salt, Creole seasoning, and a cayenne pepper and onion powder. That's the only four things you need right here to have that tasting good. Now I'm gonna show y'all the finished product and I'm gonna put it on some rice and we're gonna see how it tastes. That's a video with everything cooked down. That's all good. Cooked off the bone. Got that good old pigtail in there looking good. As you make red beans from scratch. The country way. Okay. We back. Now that's on rice. Man, I'm telling you, this is not for looks. I know it might not look tasting to some of y'all. Oh my god. But look at that salt. Tender. Tender. I love it. I love some uh pig tail, not salt meat, I'm sorry. Got meat broken up in there, see? See how this tastes. Perfect. Got the uh, smoke taste from the sausage. Got uh, the pig tail taste. I love it. I love it. Easy way to cook red beans. The country way. 